For this video, I'm going to go over Chapter 4, Assignment 5. Just uh, show you what I put down for these guys and pretty much just go into the math portions here. So for 4, they're talking about what constants you'll use for 45 and 6 degree fittings for roll off uh, offset problems. There they are. And then 6, oh, I'm sorry, for 5. They'll they ask you what the formula is when you have a known constant. And then for six, you put plug in the numbers and start using it. And they want you to solve for t. So you have your uh, offset and your advance. And use those numbers in here excuse the focus multiplying it by the constant come out comes out to be this here 15.29 feet or 15 and 3 15 feet 3 and 9 sixteenths inches and I need to start throwing in those uh, I'd recommend putting in these fittings. That'd be center of elbow, center of elbow, 45 degree elbow, center of 45 degree elbow. Um, and I think that one, that's pretty much it for that one. Moving on to number seven, they ask for some formulas. And I drew the picture straight out of the book just to kind of help me out knowing where these letters come from. And here's, and this is. This is when you're using a, uh, or solving for a rolling combination, 45 degree Y and 60 degree elbow offset. So, T equals R times two, there's T, so two times that equals that. A equals R times point, uh, 1.414. And O equals R. There they are. And number eight, they ask you to solve for A. So there's some observation things going on here. Solving for A. You look here and you see that this is a 45 here. 45 degree triangle here, and there's your 90. So you got your offset and your advance making up your 90, and there's your travel piece. And when you look at this, you, re you realize that this side here is the travel piece of this triangle down here. So in order to find that, you would use the these numbers here, plug them in, since it's just a triangle, you don't need an offset. It's just using those numbers there and using this formula here, which uh, we talked about in one of the earlier assignments. Travel equals offset uh, squared plus uh, advanced squared, and then square root that, and that gives you your travel. So. When all that's said and done, comes out to 10 foot 9 and 13 16 inches for travel here. And A, uh, O equals A, so there you go. And for 9, it's just simply subtracting 12 foot because you're, you're trying to find B. So you take your 12 foot overall, subtract that, and you got your B. So that's that, true and false. Hope that helps you out, and thanks for watching.